on this video i'm going to show you how to go ahead and remove the light background with a dark hair model uh, in this case you might see this picture and you might say oh she looks perfect and everything in the background doesn't bother you but if you ever wanted to remove a little bit of texture to your background and not have to worry about oh man how am i going to do that and remove all these hairs there's a very simple way of doing it it might take you 30 seconds up to a minute and basically the only thing you have to do is have your model have your texture as you can see we have this one right here we're just going to play around with it you can cho choose whatever you want but for this tutorial we're going to go ahead and use this one so you're going to select your texture background and you're going to change the blade mode to multiply and as you can see it automatically removes all the white background as you can see even on the model and we're going to go ahead and take care of this right now but basically it affects pretty much everything on white that's why is this one is for white background with dark hair once you go ahead and done this we're going to go ahead and mask the layer and we're going to go ahead and paint with black on the model we're going to go ahead and basically start painting we're going to do it with a hard brush we're just going to do right here in her face all over her face and some of her hair you guys can take a look how easy this is you guys can be a lot more cautious when it comes down to the edges on the hair and everything but i'm just going to be really rough around here so that way you can take a look basically how easy this is and i'm sure you guys can do a much much better job at doing this that way you don't have to kill yourself spending hours just trying to remove every single hair or selecting or doing a with quick selection and try to get all the hairs and make sure that it looks nice and even try to get all those hairs and wow it drew, used to drove me nuts and now that i learned this uh this technique i just wanted to pass it on to you guys you can do the rest of the hair and the edges change your brush size and everything and then just work on it and make it look even perfect much better than much better job than what i did as you can see just, i'm just going over pretty much kind of what i want just right here a little as you can see I start painting on on that and you guys can work on that much much better and there you go as you can see we still have the background back here we have the hairs everything looks perfect as we don't have to remove the hairs or worrying about that the hairs that are in there you can finish this much better than i did but as you can see that's before that's after before after again this is not the perfect background maybe for this picture it's all in the eye of the beholder if you like this use that background again usually choose a lighter background so that way when you do the multiply blend mode it doesn't confuse you with anything else dark background with dark hair that's another tutorial but for this one is for the light background dark hair model and as you can see really simple a minute or two and you have a different background with texture and you still have all the details on the hairs and you don't have to worry about doing anything special quick selection to delete adjust color it's just oh, it's a nightmare but as you can see nice and simple i hope you guys like it leave a comment if you guys don't like it if i miss something or something that i can improve on i'm definitely can take your suggestions you guys have a good one